starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Timmy. This is my dog, Lassie. Do you live around here? Yes, we live over there, in the house trailer. Oh. Well, I better be going now. I was on my way to get my dad. He's over there, in our alfalfa field. It was nice meeting you. Bye, Linda. Bye, Timmy. Come Bye. On. Come on, dear. I think we'll take a walk over there, Linda. Hi, Dad. Hi, son. Hiya, Lassie. Dad, what's a house trailer? Well, it's kind of like a house on wheels. It's called a trailer because it's drawn by a car. You know, some of them are pretty good size. They've got three or four rooms and all kinds of modern equipment. What brought this up? Well, last night I saw a little girl. Her name is Linda Miles. And she moved here in a trailer. She's going to let me see it tomorrow. Oh, good. Mr. Martin? Yes? John Miles. Oh, yes. Yes, Timmy was just telling me about you moving into the area. You interested in farming, Mr. Miles? Hardly. I bought this land for a hunting and fishing preserve. I expect to flood this field next week to enlarge the lake. Flood it? Well, you can't do that, Mr. Miles. I've made my plans. My construction engineers are all ready to start. Well, no, I, I've leased that field from the bank for three years. I pay them a quarter share of my alfalfa crop as rent. Why, that's not even ready to be cut yet. Sorry, Martin. Yes, dear. Come on, Lassie. Well, Paul, maybe there's some mistake. No, the bank leased that field to us when the owner died, and they took over as trustees. You'd think that they'd notify us if they were going to sell that land. Well, surely Mr. Carter can explain everything. Well, he'll get his chance when that bank opens in the morning. We've invested seed and labor in that alfalfa crop. Now Miles wants to flood the field. Well, at least he could let you cut it. That's a big slice of our income, Ruth, and I intend to fight for it.
I've never seen anything like this trailer before. You should see where we live in a city. It has a swimming pool. Golly. I wish you could stay all day, Lassie, and you too, Timmy. Well, what did Mr. Carter say? Well, our agreement was for just one year. But, Paul, you farmed that land for three years. Yeah, friendly agreement, which the new owner has a right to cancel. Oh, Paul. Mr. Carter's suggestion, I've asked Jim Layton to file papers asking for an injunction. What does that mean? Well, if it's granted, Miles won't be able to flood the land until after the alfalfa crop is cut. A court case. That's a fine way for new neighbors to start out. Yeah. But we have no other choice. Well, supper is ready. Will you call Timmy for me? Yeah. I guess last and I better get going. Bye, Linda. Bye, Timmy. Timmy! Martin, I'll have to ask you to keep off my property. As a matter of fact, they're trespassing. It won't happen again, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Dad? Come on, son. Come on, Lassie. So he's the one who asked for an injunction this morning. All the good it'll do him. Well, this is a surprise. Come on in. No, I gotta get right back to town, Paul. I just stopped by for a minute. Well, at least you could have some coffee with us. Hello, Mrs. Martin. Hello. Sorry, folks. I wish this were a social call instead of this. A summons? That new fella, John Miles, swore out a complaint. Claims trespass. Trespass? Yep. But Judge Baxter says if it's all right with you, he'll hear it at the same time as your injunction. Well, I gotta be going. Bye. I see there are two cases on the docket today. Paul Martin has asked for an injunction, which has been answered by John Miles. And Mr. Miles has filed a complaint for trespass, which has been answered for Mr. Martin by Mr. Layton, his attorney. <clears throat> I, uh... I see we have counsel here whom I don't know. Would he be good enough to introduce himself? I'm Thomas Arnold, Your Honor. I represent Mr. Miles. Mr. Arnold? I understand about Jim Layton being sick. Have you other legal counsel, Mr. Martin? Well, if it please the court, Your Honor, I'd like to act in my own behalf. All right. All right. Since your counsel is sick, can't be present, I'll allow you to proceed in your own behalf. And since you're the visitor here, Mr. Arnold, we'll take yours first. If it's all right with you, Mr. Martin. Thank you, Your Honor. And may I say I appreciate the court's desire to expedite the hearing in our case. As Your Honor knows, the papers filed on behalf of my client, John Miles, state that defendant, Paul Martin, on July 17th at approximately 5 o'clock p.m., did willfully trespass on property recently acquired by my client by entering on such property after being informed the property belonged to my client. Is that all uh, Mr. Martin did? Was there any damage done to the property? No, there was no damage, Your Honor. Mr. Arnold, I don't think you have a case. 
Around here, neighbors don't trespass when they happen along on your land. My goodness gracious, I, I cut across somebody's vacant field every morning on my way over here to the courthouse. Case dismissed. Your Honor, the law states. I'm sure counsel is aware that until such time as the higher court overrules, the judgment here will stand. Let's get to the injunction. Mr. Martin, I'll hear from you. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to call as my witness Mr. Edward Carter. Mr. Carter? Well, acting as trustee for the estate, we made an agreement with Paul Martin, whereby he supplied the seed and worked the land, the bank taking one-fourth of the crop as rental. And this continued for three years. Yes, it did. Now, Mr. Carter, when the bank sold this land, was I, Paul Martin, at any time notified? No, it takes a little time to attend to all the details, and Mr. Miles took possession immediately. Thank you, Mr. Carter. That's all. Mr. Carter, I will ask if the agreement between the bank and Mr. Martin was in writing and whether it was recorded. Yes, it was. The first year. And after the first year, Mr. Carter? Well, it wasn't considered necessary. The bank was satisfied, and so was Paul Martin. No more questions. You can step down, Ed. If there's no further testimony, Mr. Martin, you can sum up. Thank you, Your Honor. I'll try to be brief. The court has already heard Mr. Carter's testimony that the bank and I did have an agreement. Also, that the bank collected rent from me for three years, and that they never sent me any notification when that land had been sold. And also that I had acted in good faith when I invested my time and money in that alfalfa crop. So, Your Honor, I'd like to request that the court order Mr. Miles to wait until that crop is cut and taken away from the field before he floods it. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, counsel? If it please the court, we ask that the request for an injunction be denied. My client is the legal owner of the land in question. He was not a party to any share crop agreement, nor was any such agreement on record at the time the land was purchased. Therefore, Your Honor, we feel that the court has no other course than to deny the injunction. I'd like to say, to start with, that this has been a very unusual hearing. It's been very informal, but regardless of that, this court is aware that on the one side, a man stands to lose a large portion of his income, and on the other, someone who owns real property is denied its use. Therefore, it's incumbent on this court to, to exercise the greatest wisdom and to use every means at its disposal to ensure justice. Now, mindful of this, this court is of the opinion that help, in the form of the opinion of others, would be of incalculable assistance. Such assistance being permissible under the statutes by appointment of amicus curiae, friends of the court. Now, therefore, will Timmy Martin and Linda Miles approach the bench? All right. Come on up. All right. Right up here. Your Honor, I object. Overruled. It would appear that we now have three friends of the court. Timmy Martin. Yes, sir. And uh, Linda Miles. Yes, sir. I'm going to ask you to help me. Uh, do you know what this hearing is all about? Sort of. Very well. Now, as friends of the court, what do you think your two fathers should do to settle their differences? Go ahead. Talk it over. You've reached a decision? 
Yes, sir. And uh, do you agree, Linda? Yes, sir. Good. Now, what is your decision? Well, we think our father should be friends. And I heartily concur. It appears to be unanimous. Your Honor, this is not a legal decision. It will be. I'm going to continue this case for two weeks, so the litigants may have time to study the judgment of the innocent. Court's adjourned. Is your father angry with you? Because of Lassie and me? Come oh, on, you hate him. Nobody should hate their own dad. I'm gonna run away. If you do that, it'll just make things worse. And besides, that's doing something wrong, too. I know you won't run away, Linda. You might as well go home, Lassie. So we won't cause Linda any more trouble. May I be excused? Yes, dear. Mr. Miles isn't my dad. Do you think Linda's made up with him yet? Maybe we ought to investigate. But you have to be mighty quiet. How do you know, Timmy? Well, she said she was this morning, and I was just over there, and her father can't find her. Oh, the poor little thing. Paul. Oh, of course. Which way would she have gone, Timmy? I don't know, but I bet Lassie could find her. Come on. <laughs> Lindas, 
you would find her? It's all right, Linda. Everything's all right. Come on. <laughs>